Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. Hmm. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon. But if old and King damn Borges the moot. is indeed buried there, we should risk letting those milk drinkers to Torx women on the throne? Watch Your yourself out there. Your over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimate...
trespassing here. You better clear out. For the Emperor! Pick a man and put him down. The attack on my signal. Time to show what you're really made of. For Skyrim! I don't like the look of this. Perfect spot for an ambush. Ten to one, just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other. Uh, uh, please, be my dog. He's uh, rolling on his head. We'll stay here. Uh, Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little. Man. You there, unplugged. Nine holds is that? Draugr. Ain't you ever seen one before? No, and I'm not sure I'm better off for it now, neither. Steady. A few dusty bone walkers aren't going to stop us any more than the Imperials could. We are not leaving until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. Where'd you come from? I'll teach you to cross 
Trust me. The Empire thinks it holds Falkreath from us, but the souls of Skyrim's bravest are buried there and will fill our hearts and strengthen our blades. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? 
That's the spirit. I'll get all the details from Garmar when he gets back. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruff will know my meaning. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. I'm good. Glad we straightened that out. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kynes Grove this time. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Roventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... I need to ask you to stop. Things, that Caution. shouting I is making people see. nervous. Can't say I've heard of any Play laws against you. whatever I that is you're doing, but I'll lock you up a... I've got my eye on you. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his Stormcloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Tullius. Oh. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires. What do you need? 
My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God, you. me. We should take your march. It'll be an important pressure point on the Imperials. We'd be within spitting distance of the capital. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Galmar. Again. I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old, but they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. Ha! <laughs> I'm sure you could do it too. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning. And the sun rises over Whiterun. Aye, and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in Whiterun. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Then I commit them to whatever gods they still believe in. Talos be with you.